Hi guys, it's Elf here from Instro West. And we've just received a new order of calibration equipment from GE Druck. And today we're gonna to unbox it, show you what's in the boxes, and how we recommend you set it up on site with the accessories you need. So, we'll get into it. Okay, so we'll start with our DPI 611. This is a 20 bar pneumatic calibrator we have here. So we'll open that up, we'll see what accessories that comes with. But we've also got other added accessories that we use. These added accessories we all put in the box, ready to go to site, and enables the technicians to grab the box and just go do the job without having to worry about what they have and do not have. So to start with, we've obviously got the Pelican box that we use, our military spare case. So it's a custom foam cutout. Um, we get these custom made to suit each unit. We've also got a set of BSP adapters and a set of MPT adapters. We've got a, a dirt and moisture trap. So this stops any contaminants entering your pneumatic pump within your calibrator. We've got a soft case that we use. We put that around the calibrator, protects it while it's out of the case. And we've got a 20 bar pneumatic hose. That 20 bar pneumatic hose fits perfectly with the calibrator, but also with your adapters. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what we've got. So it comes pretty well packed. First thing we've got is our calibration certificate and our instruction manual. Ensure you save this somewhere, put it somewhere safe uh, for safekeeping. Next thing we've got is a lead set. So this lead set will enable you to connect all your electrical I.O. to your calibrator. The unit does come with a set of batteries as well. As well as a pressure fitting here. Okay. And lastly we've got the unit itself. Well protected. We open up our dirt and moisture trap. Again, got some instructions here. Tells you the limitations of it. And there's our dirt and moisture trap. As you can see, it's clear. So in the 20 bar units and the pneumatic units, they're clear. We can see what contaminants are in there and it enables you to stop, um, stop basically using the pneumatic pump if you're seeing contaminants in there. On the high pressure units, the 100 bar units, it's actually not clear. So just have to be aware of that. So this, very easy to fit, as you can see. Basically, under that, there's O-ring seals in here and that can go on. There you go, your unit's protected. Now, you don't have to use the, the dust and moisture trap uh, if you're using it on a, clean surf, on a clean surface. But remember that it's there to protect your device. So you're not gonna get the longevity out of your pneumatic pump if you're getting contaminants into your calibrator. Okay, so now we'll set this up, power it up, get the batteries in it and all that, and we'll get it into the case. So firstly, you need a Phillips head screwdriver to undo the back of the battery case. Like so, and you can see there's where we put our batteries. Now, we can get a lithium ion battery for this unit as an optional extra. We've chosen not to do it in this one, but they are available and they are on our website. So we'll load up the batteries, obviously be careful, make sure you follow the configuration as instructed inside. Okay, there's our batteries done. See the nice dust seal we've got on here? Maintains some of the IP integrity of the device. So put that back in, push it down, and then screw in shut. Okay. So this will now power up, you can see there the GE lights on, so we're good to go. 
All right, we'll put this inside its case now. So there is a, a bit of a knack to this. So first up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this shoulder strap. We'll get that out of our way so it's not getting in our way while we put the cover on the calibrator. Okay, the calibrator itself goes in the back end here first. But as you'll see, there's two holes here and here, and that's for our palm strap. So we'll remove the palm strap so we can put that back on later. So, it's pretty easy. It's all GoPro. There you go. So that's out of the way. So now what we do, we unzip the back of this. Now when you put this in, it's easier to put the pump parts in first, down towards, oops, down towards the back. So I'll grab that, put the Velcro part. There we go, now we pull this in tight. Holds everything in place, protects your unit. Zip that up. Okay, the unit's now in a case, so we just check that it's sitting in there all right. We open this top zip. And there you go. You can see that it's in there. Okay. All right, next we put the palm straps back on. Put that back up, roll it over, and you can see the holes are there for your palm straps. So with the palm straps, Velcro side down on the on this one. Pushing through. Put that up. And same here. Okay. Undo that. goes across to there, and that goes to there, that goes across the lot. There you go, you've now got a palm strap you can hang on to. Okay. Alternatively, if you want it on the other side, you can go on the other side. So you can change it to what side you want it, left handed, right handed, up to you. And lastly, of course, we just put our strap back on. Right. Now that's good to go, we can throw that over our shoulder you need to. Okay, so let's put all this into the case now and do it on site. All right, so our calibrator fits in there. It's nice and snug, well protected. Okay, the next thing we got here is for our, next thing we got here is for our bits. Fitting, so, it's our MPT fittings, just to show you what they look like. That's our MPT thread adapter fittings. Now these fit beautifully with our hose. And again, it's all O-ring seals. So that end goes to our calibrator. This end goes to our adapter fittings. You can see there the O-ring seal. So that O-ring seal sits in there and we've got here a 3.8. So let's say you want a half inch female MPT. All right, that's what we got there. Half inch female MPT, it actually says on there. And just screw it on hand tight because of the O-ring, it will seal. There you go. So I'll put that there. So MPT, that's where they go. Your hose goes in there. BSP. Again, much the same as MPT, it's just in BSP. Goes in there. And we've got thumb grips here so they're easier to grab in and out. Okay, we've got a dirt moisture trap that's got a home as well. Sits right there. Beautiful, can't lose it. Got a couple of spare pneumatic fittings here. We can throw those in there. If you've got a second hose, it can go in there. There's our lead set, four leads, four banana leads with retractable covers. High quality lead. Uh, we've been using GE drug equipment for 12 years as a business and uh, or closer to 13 years and the leads last a lifetime. They, they really are pretty good. Okay, we've got a stylus here as well. 
you can sit in there. We've got some nice soft test leads. These are really handy, especially getting onto transmitters or inside marshalling cabinets, whatever. Okay, so these will all fit inside here. Two test leads, so they can go there. Okay, and lastly, we've got our instructions. We'll just leave those inside. When it gets to site, we hope the guys on site follow them away. So, as you can see, there's a bit more room in here should you have other accessories you wish to add. Uh, if you want a power supply, anything like that, they can be added. And we've also got a spot for spare batteries. The reason we've put that in there is when you're up on site and you grab this and you run out to go do a job. You know what it's like. The person before you has left the unit flat and put it back away. So now you can have batteries with you so you're not walking down 10 flights of stairs just to go get a set of batteries, they're there. Uh, as I said, we can get a rechargeable lithium ion for this, but you're gonna have a similar problem. Anyway guys, put all that together. And you've got a calibrator ready to go. You can throw that in the back of a U. You can take it out on site, gives you a good spot to set your gear up. It's quite safe. You're not going to be dropping components through grid mesh because everything's contained within your, within your box. If you like any more information on the drop calibration range, uh, jump on our website, www.instrowest.com.au or give us a call on 08 9500 9120.